Hello, my dear students. I hope you're doing fine at home. My name is Miss Camila, and today we're going to talk about modal verb can. The objective is to identify use and form of modal verb can. So what is modal verb can? We use can to talk about the ability to do something at a specific time in the present. In some cases, can it is used to ask for permission or give permission. Also, it is used to express if something is possible or not. As it is a modal verb, it has some specific characteristics. It's used for all pronouns. It expresses a mode. The following verb goes in its infinitive tense and it is used as its own auxiliary. Now we're going to analyze the types of sentences. In this case, we're going to start with the positive sentence. And as usual, we're going to start with our pronoun. Next, we're going to use the modal verb can. Next, the verb in the infinitive form. And finally, the complement. So in this case, we can have, for example, I can speak English. She can cook pizza. We can watch horror movies. In the case of the negative sentence, we're also going to start with the pronoun. Next, we're going to write our verb can. Next, we're going to use the word not because it is a negative sentence. Next, the verb in infinitive tense. And finally, the complement. So, for example, we can say, I cannot speak English. She cannot cook pizza. We cannot watch horror movies. And as usual, we can join those two words, can and not, and also we can say can't. In the interrogative sentence, we're going to start with our modal verb can. Next, we're going to use our pronoun. Next, the verb in the infinitive tense. Next, the complement. And finally, we're going to end with the question mark. So in this case, we can say, can you speak English? Can she cook pizza? Can we watch horror movies? And here's the activity. Read the description of each superhero from Marvel Comics. Check in the chart aspects that each character can't or can't do according to the descriptions. Write everything on your copybook. Send the activity to our email english.cmhn at gmail.com with your name and grade. If you have any questions about the activity or the contents, remember you can ask questions during the online sessions or you can send us an email and we will answer you as soon as possible. So here's the first part of the activity. Remember you have to read the four descriptions of the four superheroes and then complete the chart. And here is the chart that you have to complete using can't or cannot according to the abilities of each superhero. Take care and stay safe. Bye.